In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do this really cool color split effect inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So the first step is to actually rotoscope yourself from the background. So we'll go up to the Roto Brush tool, select the video, go on to your brushes, which is here, and we can change the diameter. So make this larger if you need to, or make this smaller if you need to, completely up to you. But once you're happy, just paint within yourself like this. Make sure you do a good job of this first frame. And if anything is not included, then just paint over it. If anything is featured that shouldn't be there, then just hold Option or Alt to get this red brush and then paint that out. But I think mine is good to go. So I'm going to press Space and I'm going to let After Effects render this out. Now, once that has finished, you just want to go through and play this frame by frame to make sure you are happy. You want to make sure this outline is always following the person. And if you need a clearer view, then you can always go into this window up here and you can see it has missed the top of my head a little bit, but I'm going to be shifting the effect over to the left. So this doesn't matter too much. So I'm now going to go into composition and you'll notice this is what I have. Now I'm just going to make a copy of this. I'm going to go command C or control C on Windows and then command or control V to paste. Then on the bottom layer, I'm just going to delete the rotor brush. Then I'm just going to copy that top layer again one more time. So command C, command V. Then I'm just going to lock the top layer. I'm going to go to the middle layer and I'm just going to move this down to the left just a little bit like this. Then I'm going to go into effects and presets and search for levels. I'm going to drop levels onto that second video clip. And I just want to make this completely white or completely black. So there you go. If I pull the input white all the way down to black, you can see that has now turned completely black. And if we solo that layer and turn on the transparency grid, you can see that is what we have created. So from here, we can now go to the four color gradient tool. So go into effects and presets, type in the number four and four color gradient should appear at the bottom. Drop that onto video layer two. And in here, we can now pick our colors. So I quite like this yellow, pink, green effect going on. I'm just going to slightly boost it up towards the pinks, I think maybe. Now from here, we're just going to make a copy of this. So we're going to go command C or control C and then command or control V. Then we're just going to lock the top layer and we're just going to press P on this bottom layer here and move that over. Then we're going to go into four color gradient and we're going to shift this. So we're going to go for maybe like a nice purple. I think that looks pretty nice already, but I'm just going to do a little bit more work to shift that even more. And as you can see, this is what we have. Now, feel free to make some adjustments if you need to. But at this moment in time, we should be just about here. So this is our effect. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to animate the position of these two background layers. So I'm going to turn off the padlock icon here. I'm going to go maybe a second in, press P on the keyboard with this selected and make sure position is selected here. Create a brand new keyframe on the position on both. Then we're just going to move them back up into position. So we're going to move them here. And then we want to cut the start of the video cut the start of this video and when we play this back you'll notice these now both animate over into position and of course we can convert all of these keyframes to easy ease and once you have done that that is the effect now complete now as you can see it doesn't look super dynamic in my example and that is because this is not on any movement based footage this is just me standing and talking to the camera. But if you had somebody dancing or doing some dramatic movement, then this would look really cool. 